Hi there, Science Kids! Welcome sa ating new lesson sa science which is about the changes in the properties of materials when mixed with other materials. This is Teacher Larisa at ito ang ating activity for this episode. The title of our activity for today is What happens to the solid materials when mixed with other solid materials? Our objective for today's lesson is to describe what happens to the solid materials when mixed with other solid materials. These are the materials for this activity. Rice grains and corn bits. Creamer and coffee. Rock salt and pepper. Iodized salt and white sugar. Staple wires and thumb tacks. Vetchin and iodized salt. And lastly, we have flour and face powder. Safety reminder, gagamit tayo ng thumb tacks at staple wires activity na ito. So let us take extra care while doing this experiment. So now, let us proceed to our experiment time. For our first material, we have rice grains and corn beets. Next is creamer and coffee. Mix them to Rudy. Next is rock salt and pepper. Then, white sugar and iodized salt. Then, staple wire and thumb Iodized salt and betching. And lastly, flour and face powder. In our activity, nag-combine tayo ng two different solid materials. When we combine two different solid materials, a mixture is formed. A mixture is a combination of two or more materials. So in our activity, meron tayong seven pairs of different solid materials. Based on our observation, there are three pairs ng solid materials natin that we cannot identify or distinguish because it has the same properties. While there are some materials na nakaklasify pa rin natin kung ano sila because they have different properties. Which pair of materials can still be distinguished after mixing or combining them? Or in other words, alin pa sa mga materials na ito ang nakikilala natin kahit na pinagsama na natin sila? The answers are rice grains and corn grits, instant coffee and creamer, rock salt and pepper, thumb tacks and staple wires. Which pair of materials cannot be distinguished after mixing or combining them? 
or alin naman ang mga materials na hindi na natin makilala right after sila ay ating paghaluin. The answers are white sugar and iodized salt, iodized salt and vetchin, and lastly, flour and face powder. So in this activity, we identified two types of mixtures, the heterogeneous mixture and the homogeneous mixture. What is the difference between these two? When we say heterogeneous mixture, these are materials that are combined which we can still identify the properties. Bakit? Dahil meron silang magkaibang property kung saan nung sila ay pinagsama natin ay na-identify pa rin natin sila. While homogeneous mixture are combined materials wherein we cannot identify these materials. Why? Because they uh, share the same features or properties. So these are the heterogeneous materials in our activity. These are materials na kaya pa nating i-identify o kilalanin kahit na pinagsama na natin sila. However, narito naman ang mga materials na hindi na natin kayang i-identify because they have the same appearance and the same properties. So when we say mixture, it is a combination of two or more materials. We have two types of mixtures, the heterogeneous mixture and the homogeneous mixture. So when we say heterogeneous mixture, it is a mixture in which solid materials can still be identified or distinguished. Or in other words, nakikilala pa natin ang solid materials na pinaghalo natin. Homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the solid materials that are combined cannot be distinguished or identified because pare-pareho ang properties ng mga materials na ito. Okay, science kids. So, dyan na nagtatapos ang ating episode para sa activity na ito. Manatili kayong nakatutok sa ating channel para marami pa tayong activities na ma-explore at marami pa tayong matutunan sa mundo ng science. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!